Number 10. Short Lifespan. Mayfly. What can you do in a day? This is a question that many people struggle to answer as they try and fill the time with their busy schedules and hope that they get enough done to satisfy them before the next day comes. But in regards to the mayfly, it can live its whole adult life in a day because that is how long it lasts. In fact, the mayfly has the shortest lifespan on the planet Earth today. So given this short lifespan, you'd think that they would be a species that would die out in a couple hundred years because they don't last that long, right? Wrong. The catch with these mayflies is that while they don't live very long, they do the job that is required of them, mainly living long enough to mate, spread their wings, and then lay eggs. Female mayflies are able to lay between 400 and 3,000 eggs. And even if a fraction of them are able to lay eggs themselves, then that means the population is getting an exponential growth rate. This is a big reason why you see mayflies everywhere in certain areas. They live, lay eggs, die, and the next cycle of them do the same thing. Number 9. Long Lifespan – Humans It shouldn't come as too much of a surprise that humans are long-lasting creatures. Granted, it wasn't always this way. But with the arrival of proper medicine and treatments, humanity has the ability to last quite a while. There is a bit of luck involved by not getting diseases, not getting randomly hurt, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. But when done right, the average lifespan of a human is about 72 years, according to the United Nations in 2019. However, I'm sure most of you at home can say that they know someone who has outlived this expectation. And if you were to look at the Guinness Book of World Records, you'll notice that several people have held the title of the oldest human alive, with them being well over 110 years old. The oldest person ever was Jean Calment at over 122 years old, with the oldest male being Jerome Kumra, who lived to be over 116. This puts us well above most animals on Earth, even the ones that have much longer lives than you would think. Number 8. Short Lifespan – Drone Ant When it comes to an ant colony, there are many different roles that ants play depending on their birth and class. However, when it comes to the drone ant, it has a singular purpose – to mate with the queen ant or ants. Yes, some ant colonies do have multiple queens, it just depends on the situation. Not so ironically, when they are done with this job of fertilizing the queen, they die. Because of this, drone ants have a life expectancy of exactly three days give or take, which makes them the shortest lived of all ant types. Another thing that occurs because of this is that when you see an ant, you can almost bet that it won't be a drone. Not just because of their life cycle, but because of their life cycle, you never really see them outside of a colony bearing one getting attacked. And to that end, wandering drone ants can be captured and brought to other colonies so that they can mate with the colony's queen. Number 7. Long Lifespan – Lobster When you look at a lobster, you won't be able to guess its age. Not because it doesn't have any defining characteristics showing its age, but rather, you're looking at how it ages wrong. You see, as lobsters grow older, they get bigger to the extent that they don't stop growing no matter what their age is. Proof of this can be found in a lobster that was caught and put into a New York restaurant to be served to its patrons. Activists went to try and save this lobster because according to them, this 20-pound lobster was over 120 years old. As lobsters age, they don't get weaker like many animals and humans do. Instead, they actually adjust their bodies so they can get stronger and larger. The current world record for a lobster in terms of size is 44 pounds, though there is some dispute on this as one was found to weigh 53 pounds once and it's not known how old that lobster was. Lobsters are adept at maintaining their peak form no matter their age, so much so that they'll even go and break their current shells so they can make new ones that can conform to their bodies. Since they do not truly age and it's near impossible to tell how long they'll last, so they are essentially immortal in their own right. Number 6. Short Lifespan – Male Mosquito If you were to list the animals that are the most annoying in the world today, there is little doubt that the mosquito would be on that list. Mosquitoes are not just annoying, they are known to be deadly. They can transmit all sorts of diseases by draining the blood of one person and transferring it to another. This is why many diseases, including West Nile virus, were so scary to the population because it could be transferred to you with a simple bite from a bug you wouldn't notice until it's too late. So how long does an adult mosquito last? That depends on the mosquito. Males tend to have shorter lifespans than the females. What's more, how long a male mosquito can last is up to it and how well it does in getting food. For example, it can last several months if it gets a lot of blood, but if it doesn't get any blood, it can last up to a week. Other factors weigh in on this, of course, 
including weather effects and outside interference. Number five, long lifespan, bowhead whales. Whales are creatures that can live a very long time, but when scientists learned that their estimations about the bowhead whale's lifespans were off, they had to readjust their thinking on things. You see, they once thought that these massive whales, which by the way have the biggest mouths in the world, only lived a maximum up to 70 years, give or take. However, one bowhead whale was then discovered to be over 100 years old. How could they prove this? In 2007, the whale in question was killed by hunters, and when they were digging around in its body, they found a harpoon from 1890. To be clear, the bowhead whale didn't swallow it. It was embedded into it. As in, a hunter from 1890 shot this whale with the harpoon, and not only did the whale live, the skin of the whale formed back around it. Another one was soon discovered, and by using its eyes, it was determined to be over 200 years old. This is just incredibly interesting. Jeffrey Bada, a marine chemistry professor at the Scripps Institution in San Diego, told the San Jose Mercury News, maybe what we're looking at are the survivors, the males who escaped hunting all those years. It's unclear at present how the bodies of these whales allowed for such long lifespans, nor is it clear how long they can truly go. But this breaks all previous estimates on the lifespan of whales, including believing that the ones who lived the longest were blue whales or fin whales, by going about 114 years. Clearly, certain whales can go beyond that. Short lifespan, housefly. Flies are everywhere, it seems at times. And one of the biggest reasons for this is that a female housefly can lay up to 500 eggs in its lifetime, ensuring that the species continues to grow even without them. The catch with this is that the housefly itself doesn't live too long. In general, they live between 15 to 30 days, which isn't too long when considering how immortal they seem to be because of their size and their eyes detecting everything and so on and so forth. Of course, even with just 30 days of life, they are known to be very annoying to people and they tend to lay their eggs in places that are known to be rather disgusting. Mainly, they like to put them in decaying or rotting food sources so their larvae have something to eat when they're done. Number three, long lifespan, planarian worms. Flatworms were already under the microscope, both figuratively and literally, because of their regeneration abilities. But when the scientists went even deeper into what these abilities could do, they realized that these creatures could technically be immortal in more ways than one. At first, they only believed that these flatworms, specifically planarian worms, could regenerate from any wound, which they proved time and time again. However, they soon realized that the regeneration also works on the inside of the worms, meaning their tissues and organs. And since those don't get worse for wear, the planarian worms don't age. This is not unlike the character Wolverine from the Marvel comics, who also had a similar regeneration ability that has allowed him to live for centuries, if not longer. Whether they have true immortality is a bit up for debate, but with that kind of regeneration, it's hard to tell how long they would last outside of dying from various factors not relating to the worm itself. Number two, short lifespan, bed bug. Anyone who has ever had to deal with bed bugs knows that they are rather persistent and annoying creatures to battle, and it seems as though they just don't die or go away. Part of this is because they are so small that they can be impossible to see when you're sleeping at night. Part of your fears about this bug are justified, as a bed bug has seven stages of life, and when it's in its adult form, they can last for 60 days at minimum. But they can also last over a year at times, even without food. More than enough time to infect your bed, bite you, and make you question what is going on with your body. This is why many places do strict measures to make sure you don't find bed bugs in your bed, and what's more, when you do get them, you're supposed to take precautions to ensure that they don't spread. However, despite all the rightful fears of them, they only spend a small fraction of their lives on human hosts. Number one, long lifespan, immortal jellyfish. There is a jellyfish out there that seems to have true immortality, as in the literal definition of living forever. The scientific name for this is Turritopsis dorni, and it has a very unique ability that allows it to be immortal. Mainly, it doesn't become mature. The immortal jellyfish, which is the official nickname for the creature, will age until it's an adult. Then it'll go and mate. Once mating is done, it actually reverts back to its younger form, or its 
juvenile form. Since it's basically young again, it'll start the aging process once more until it goes and mates. Then the jellyfish will revert back to its juvenile state and the cycle repeats. And since the cycle can repeat, it is immortal. However, it can obviously die by injury or being killed by a predator. This very unique jellyfish wasn't discovered until the 1990s and scientists are honestly not sure how the immortal jellyfish does this act. To literally reverse aging is something that no other creature that has been found can do. And thus, research is being done to see what exactly can be learned from this creature. If the secret can be found, it could lead to some radical new medicine. Number 10. Husseini Hanging Bridge in a world of commercial flights and supersonic jets, it can be easy to forget how hard it can be to travel in certain parts of this planet. The Husseini Hanging Bridge looks like the road to nowhere from the original Crash Bandicoot game on PS1 times 10, cause it's real. It's been labeled the most dangerous bridge in the world and it's located in Northern Pakistan. This horrifying platform looks like a death trap. It doesn't appear to have enough boards to walk across, making you kind of hop from plank to plank with huge gaps of nothing in between. I'm pretty sure I've seen this in movies and it doesn't end well. A fall from this bridge would land you in some choppy water. You probably wouldn't die, but you still wouldn't want to fall in. If you can't swim, you should probably find another way to the other side, just in case. You might be wondering what kind of a lunatic built such a sketchy bridge. Well, the bridge actually connects a part of the rural region of northern Pakistan with the rest of Pakistan. This is an area that lacked roads and proper infrastructure for most of the modern centuries. Forty years ago, the only way to travel about the region included rickety cable and plank bridges that crossed the streams and rivers of the mountainous landscape. This bridge is one such means of transportation, but it's long and poorly maintained because of its rough shape, it's become famous as being one of the most terrifying bridges in the world. Despite its looks, however, the Husseini has become something of a tourist draw, with hikers testing their nerves as they carefully work their way across. Would you test your luck? Let me know in the comments. Number 9. The Causeway Bridge the Causeway Bridge, also known as the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, is recognized by Guinness World Records as being the longest bridge ever constructed over a body of water. It earned that title in 1969. In 2011, China threatened to take the title by building an even longer bridge. This seems hard to do considering the Causeway Bridge stretches for 24 miles over the lake, but China tried to do it anyway. I mean, of course they did. This bridge was originally built because when New Orleans began to expand in the 1940s and 50s, it was hard to access the north part of the city. The solution was to build a bridge over the entire lake. It took about 14 months to build the first two lanes, which opened in 1956. Then a secondary bridge was built in 1969 to ease traffic. While not dangerous in the slightest, it is still scary to look both ways and see nothing but water, as if you were simply floating across the river in a magic flying vehicle. As for the Jiazhou Bay Bridge in China, which was completed in 2011 and boasted a length of 26.5 miles, it actually contained some land bridges, making it not completely above water. So, even after 60 years, the Causeway Bridge is still the longest continuous bridge over a body of water. Number 8. Puente de Huela The Puente de Huela in Mexico is terrifying for a couple of reasons. First, it's located in the Chihuahua Desert of eastern Durango, where the landscape is pretty bleak and pretty miserable. Secondly, the bridge leads to a famous haunted ghost town. As a general rule of thumb, you never want to cross a rickety bridge into a ghost town. It's just not a good idea. You may never cross over again, or worse, you could cross the bridge directly into the spirit world. Of course, none of that would ever happen, but it's fun to think about. The bridge itself goes over a canyon and offers a terrifying glimpse at the valley below. Another thing that makes the bridge exceptionally scary is that it always feels to be swaying with the wind, giving you a sudden rush of vertigo and making you feel like you could flip over the edge and fall to your doom at any second. Most tourists consider the Mexican bridge to be extremely horrifying, even if it's supposedly safe. Either way, you cross at your own peril. Hey, real quick, if you're new to Planet Explained, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 7. Igui Dumidi Bridge Some bridges are only a little scary, and some bridges are actually extremely terrifying. Take the Igui Dumidi Bridge in France. It's located in the French Alps, 
very close to the top of Mont Blanc. It's not a very long bridge, but it connects two mountains at their peaks, and the height of this place would make even the bravest mountaineer spit up their lunch just thinking about it. The structure is in pretty good shape, all things considered. It has sturdy rails, but there's no denying that one fierce blast of wind could send you tumbling over the side of the mountain to your death. This doesn't happen very often, but it's definitely a probability. The bridge itself is located over 12,500 feet above sea level. So if you have a fear of heights, you won't give this bridge a second thought. It's the formula for the worst panic attack in the world. It's also a two-stage journey. You have to take a cable car just to reach the bridge, which was built in 1955. That's a little sketchy in and of itself. The cable car to this day holds the record for the highest vertical ascent cable car on the planet. Not only is the bridge horrifying, but the trip to get there is too. They've also built a glass skywalk alongside it. So if the bridge isn't scary enough, you can test how brave you are on the glass path. There was even a guy crazy enough to fly under it in a wingsuit. Scary. Number six, Oshimoashi Bridge. Even if you're an extremely confident driver, trying to cross this bridge could make you uneasy. It's basically a highway to outer space and a shortcut to motion sickness. Still, it's one of the most spectacular bridges in the world. Approaching the Oshimoachi Bridge, you kind of feel like you're about to go on a ride at Six Flags. The bridge has an insanely steep and terrifying slope that's tall enough to let ships pass underneath it with ease. It's a stretch of road that has freaked out even the most confident drivers. Cars gradually ascend, making it less scary for the drivers than the bridge appears when photos are taken from a straight-on angle. It's been nicknamed the Roller Coaster Bridge because of its super steep slope and appearance of being a bridge to the sky. It's built of concrete and is about a mile long, linking the cities of Matsi and Sakai Minyato. What makes it really horrifying is that it has a gradient of 6.1 on one side and 5.1 on the other side. It's basically like driving straight up a mountain and then zipping down the other side. It's the third largest bridge of its kind in the world and the largest rigged frame bridge in Japan. It's also one of the steepest in the world, and according to the Daily Mail, it was even featured in a commercial for a Japanese minivan just to test how durable the vehicle was. Number 5. Zheng Zhaji Glass Bridge a walk across the Zhengjiaji Grand Canyon Bridge is like walking in the clouds. All the bridge floors are paved with transparent glasses, and each piece of glass is extremely large. Imagine being 300 feet in the air while you can clearly see the deep canyon below through the glass. Yikes! Once you're on, you have a 360-degree view of the canyon. Above you, there are clouds and blue sky. Under your feet, there are dense trees and tranquil, misty streams. Look ahead in the distance, you could also find a plunging waterfall rushing down from the middle of a cliff. Walk from one side of the bridge to the other in about an hour. That's a whole 60 minutes of shaky legs for some people. If you're looking for somewhere special to challenge your bravery, then it's time to head to this glass bridge. China has a thing for glass bridges. The Zhengjiaji glass bridge is definitely the most famous, but there are at least 23 glass bridges across the country, according to a report from BBC. In the province of Hebei alone, there are at least least 32 glass attractions, all of which were shut down back in 2018 because of safety concerns. At the time Zheng Zhaji was opened in 2016, it was the highest and longest bridge with a glass bottom in the world. And while there have been no fatalities reported at this particular bridge, which is arguably scariest of them all, there have been some disastrous consequences to all the glass bridges being built in China. For example, in 2019, one tourist died and six tourists were injured after falling off a glass side in another province. There was another injury in 2016 when someone was hit by falling rocks while walking across a glass walkway. These attractions are absolutely dangerous, and one glass skywalk that opened in 2015 even cracked after two weeks and sent tourists fleeing in a mad panic, which was probably more dangerous than the crack. But this one still looks pretty cool. I think I would do it. How about you? Number four, Karakareti Rope Bridge. In Ireland, the Karakareti Rope Bridge is a major tourist attraction. It's considered extremely safe to walk across, but that doesn't make it any less terrifying. The wooden slats on this rope bridge connect Carrick Island with County and Trim, and it's been there for over 250 years. The bridge sways with the wind 98 feet over the ocean, and it's far from relaxing. If you tumble off that bridge, you probably wouldn't live to tell the tale. Back in the 1970s, the bridge was built with just one handrail, and a few 
two wooden planks strung together. According to the Country of Ireland's website, the bridge is far safer today than it was back in 1970. Crossing the bridge might be a horrifying endeavor, but getting to the other side will gift you with some beautiful views all across the coast of Northern Ireland. And you can even see Scotland all the way on the other side. This place is located very near to the Giant's Causeway, and it's a great little adrenaline rush. So far as we know, people don't generally fall off the bridge, so don't stress too much. Number three, Tightless Cliff Walk. The Tightless Cliff Walk is not for people afraid of heights. The bridge is roughly 300 feet long and has been labeled the highest suspension bridge in all of Europe. It's freezing cold and usually covered in snow and stretches along the cliff of Mount Tightless up in the Swiss Alps. The views are definitely some of the best in the world though, at about 10,000 feet above sea level. The bridge opened officially in December 2012 during a snowstorm. As you can imagine, construction work was an extreme challenge for engineers with working hours determined by the weather conditions. It took only five months to build, which is pretty amazing, considering the insane location and the snow falling on the workers. The winds in the area can be strong enough to knock a person over, so it's a good thing that the bridge was designed to withstand winds of over 120 miles per hour. It's been labeled the scariest bridge in the world, and the Switzerland Tourism Department called it an adventure for people who like adrenaline. As with most of these types of bridges, it's supposed to be 100% safe and impossible to fall off. But if you're the kind of person whose palms start to sweat when they look over the edge of their own balcony, you probably want to steer clear of this attraction the next time you're in Switzerland. Number two, Royal Gorge Bridge. The Royal Gorge Bridge is located in Colorado. It's one of the most famous suspension bridges in all of America, and it gives you a unique opportunity to enjoy the natural beauty of Colorado. But for many of you, it might be hard to enjoy the natural beauty of anything while standing 956 feet above the Arkansas River in what probably feels like one of the scariest moments of your life. Of course, the bridge is quite safe. It was originally designed to hold over 2 million pounds, and it was built with not a single death or major injury. That's good, I guess. It's definitely one of the safer bridges spanning a gorge. Still, staring over the edge and into the abyss is an experience that can make butterflies explode in your stomach. If you're a history buff, you might like to know that the Royal Gorge Bridge began construction in 1929 and was completed in less than seven months. Number one, Plank Road in the Sky. Today, we have looked at a lot of terrifying bridges that are actually quite safe, despite their height, sketchiness, and location. Being up high can be nerve-wracking, but most of the time, you're gonna be all right, most of the time. We're going to switch it up now with our last entry, often considered the most dangerous trail in the world. It's located at Mount Hu in China, and I'm not sure if it's a trail or a bridge. It's essentially a trail of planks built into the side of a cliff that you have to walk across with barely enough room for your body. So if you're a bigger person, you might not wanna try this one. These planks are maybe two feet wide, and if you fall off, there is no coming back. The drop goes about 5,000 feet straight down the sheer face of a cliff. It would be instant death. The place is known as the Plank Road in the Sky, and it's basically the biggest nightmare for anyone who doesn't like heights. Some parts don't even have planks, but little footholds carved out of stone take one wrong step and goodbye. They do offer a harness that you can use in case of an accident, but would you really trust that with your life? Number 12, Capybara. As if horror movies and dark, empty alleys haven't taught us that rodents make for excellent villains, these ones are sure to induce some sleepless nights with their creepy teeth. Usually found in South America and now in parts of Florida, they are considered the largest rodents on the planet, with knife-sharp teeth that actually never stop growing. They are known primarily for their herbivore diets, for which their scary incisors are perfectly suited. But the level of gross and creepiness grows once you found out they use them to sort through their protein-rich feces. Ugh. Horror movie material par excellence. Number 11, Titan Triggerfish. Don't let the beauty of this vibrantly colored fish distract you from the fact that it can be extremely mean, territorial, and unafraid to use its razor-sharp teeth when dealing with threats. The Titan Triggerfish, also referred to as 
as giant triggerfish, usually resides in Indo-Pacific waters, mostly on the shallow reefs, but sometimes found in deeper waters at depths of 160 feet. They are solitary in nature. They swim along, moving rocks around, and trying to replenish their energy reserves with sea urchin and coral-filled diets. So where does their bad reputation come from? These exquisitely colored creatures usually stay away from divers and people in general, but get extremely defensive, especially female triggerfish, during nesting season when the protective female lays her eggs in a cone-shaped territory around the egg zone. Swimming or diving closely to this nesting territory could get you in trouble. That's when the Titan triggerfish swim rapidly toward the perceived intruder with an erected dorsal spine and sizable sharp teeth. They may not always bite, but when they do, people are left wondering how this sea creature could get that vicious. Their strong bite and scary teeth will certainly cause damage to its victim, both physical and psychological. If you ever find yourself in close proximity to a Titan triggerfish, it's strongly advised you swim horizontally away from the nest area instead of going up in the water column. You might prevent yourself from seeing this marine beauty transform into a toothy monster. Hey, real quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more videos like these. Number 10, Babarusa. Our number 10 spot is reserved for this bizarre creature. Sometimes referred to as deer pig from the swine family, originating mostly from the Indonesian islands. Looking like some sort of horrifying byproduct from a crossbreeding experiment, this terrifying animal is equipped with large canines. They are used as powerful weaponry to carry out their acts of aggression. The upper canines in male babarusa grow out vertically, piercing through the skin and bending over the face toward the forehead. It's an unsettling sight. The lower canines also grow upward, and for female babarusa, canines are either reduced or absent. These absurdly large and terrifying tusks are often used in mating competitions, where male babarusa will often slash another with deadly results in combat. You wouldn't want to get in their crosshairs. Number 9. Mandrill First primate on this list, Mandrill is a colorful example of a mostly peaceful and reclusive animal from Africa, whose clownish appearance shouldn't distract you from its terrifying grin. Mandrills are more colorful than almost all other mammals. The distinct blue and red skin on their face and their brightly hued rumps make them easy to spot. This clown-like face and huge teeth that can grow two inches long would definitely be a scary sight. It should be noted that mandrills use their fangs mostly for self-defense purposes and in friendly communication with each other. If you ever get to encounter a mandrill, don't be alarmed by its freakish appearance. They are probably not going to hurt you. Probably. However scary they might appear, especially with their fang-like choppers, these mostly shy animals are under threat of extinction. It's mostly because they are hunted as bushmeat and are considered a delicacy, but also because of the ever-shrinking rainforest homeland due to spreading agriculture and human settlement. Number 8. Tiger. Perhaps the most infamously blood-curling jaws on this list, tiger's teeth are really what worst nightmares are made of. These fierce predators live mostly in Asia, with some subspecies like the Siberian tiger living in northern colder areas like eastern Russia and northeastern China. Other subspecies live in India, Malaysia, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Indonesia. What is most frightening is the way these carnivores hunt and kill their prey. They essentially suffocate the prey by clamping down on their necks with their jaws. Their canine teeth possess pressure-sensing nerves that provoke sensations which serve as an indicator of where exactly to deliver a fatal bite to its prey. Interesting fact, they are actually born toothless. They get milk teeth after a few weeks, and those fall out when their adult teeth push the milk teeth out. They grow to three inches, and there are gaps between them, which makes it easier for them to grasp their prey. Tigers like to hunt bigger animals, and yes, sometimes humans. If you haven't been afraid of these vicious hunters before, which is highly unlikely, now is the time to start appreciating the sheer scare factor of the horrifying meat grinder hidden inside their mouths. Number 7. The Great White Shark The Great White Shark is the super predator that has scared you since you first saw Jaws. It's considered the largest predatory fish on the planet. They can be about 20 feet in length and weigh up to 5,000 pounds. They live for about 30 to 40 years, and their killer instincts hardly diminish during that period of time. Great White Sharks are largely considered the top of the food chain. These carnivores have horrific jaws that consist of up to 3,000 teeth at a time, arranged in multiple rows, and their shape and size will vary depending on the specific shark's diet. Most of the biting is done by their front teeth, which are the largest. Once they've captured their prey, they start biting with their lower jaw and then continue with their upper jaw. Call me crazy, but I still want to swim with sharks. 
Would you? Let me know in the comments. Number six, hyena. Hyenas are notoriously vicious apex predators of the African animal kingdom. There are, however, several misconceptions about these animals, even among animal lovers and wildlife enthusiasts. One of the more common is, hyenas are very closely related to dogs. In reality, they are much more closely related to cats. Also, they don't all laugh, and they aren't just scavengers. But the fact remains, their teeth are horrifying. Hyenas are highly social animals, who move around in clans, which consist of up to 80 members. That's a lot. Clans usually work together to capture their prey and end up splitting the hunt. The size of the prey will depend on the size of the clan. As mentioned before, they might scavenge, but they also hunt by themselves, usually wildebeest, antelope, hippos, birds, jackals, fish, snakes, foxes, and other animals. And as for their hideous teeth and jaws, spotted hyenas, for example, have 32 to 34 teeth, including conical premolars designed specifically for cracking and crushing bones. They have the exceptional ability to eat and digest bones, horns, hooves, and even teeth. Their digestion cycle for all of this lasts only 24 hours, which gives them an advantage over the rest of the wildlife. Number five, hippopotamus. River horses, or hippopotamus, love water so much that they spend approximately 16 hours a day submerged in it to keep their body temperature stable in the hot African sun. They may be herbivores, but that doesn't make their wide yawns that uncover their sharp teeth any less scary. Essentially, their jaws can open almost a full 180 degrees, which is primarily used for an intimidation tactic by this large territorial beast. Not only can their jaws open wide, they can also open with incredible force, approximately 1,880 pound force per square inch, making their bites among the strongest in the animal kingdom. As if that wasn't terrifying enough, they possess large incisors and canine teeth over a foot in length. These horse-like creatures can be dangerous to humans, so they should be avoided at all cost and just admired from afar. Number four, Payara. This monstrous bone chiller of a fish is about four feet long and is most often found roaming the waters of the Amazon looking for food. The most noticeable feature of them are the two fangs protruding from its lower jaw. Those fangs can grow to three to four inches in length, which they then use as a weapon to hunt their prey, sinking the vampire-looking teeth into the prey's vital organs. As the prey starts to sink towards the bottom, it's engulfed by the payara's hungry mouth without the possibility of escaping. Its fangs remain within the jaw at all times, sliding into two holes in the upper jaw. It's not difficult to see why this bizarre creature would be attractive for exotic aquariums, but it still doesn't look like my go-to choice for a pet fish. Number three, Helicoprion. The now extinct buzzsaw shark is believed to have been the marine apex predator somewhere between 250 and 290 million years ago. It rightfully deserves its spot on the list for its ghastly look and many urban legends surrounding its existence in the underwater world today. Although highly unlikely, it would make for a great horror movie plot. It's widely believed that this monster fish was about 12 meters in length, which would make it the biggest marine animal of its day. What's remarkable about some of the more recent findings regarding this wild creature is the fact that it had a whirl of teeth that fit into the front of its jaws, with some of those teeth reaching incredible sizes, up to 18 inches in diameter. Essentially, these sharp teeth were attached to a circular muscle resembling a buzzsaw, which the animal would use to shoot out and shred its prey into pieces. This descending spiral of densely packed teeth is straight nightmare fuel. Number two. Saltwater crocodile. These opportunistic predators can reach stunning sizes up to 23 feet in length and 2,220 pounds, which they use to create a formidable presence. They mostly populate low salinity regions of India, Southeast Asia, and Northern Australia. They are great swimmers and classic lurkers. They wait for the potential prey beneath the surface near the water's edge and then attack. Buffaloes, monkeys, wild boars, sharks, humans, Nothing and no one is safe from these vicious grabbers. Even though most species are relatively benign and would rather avoid people than hunt them, saltwater crocodiles are known for their aggression towards humans, with at least several dozens of attacks on people every year. Their exceptionally strong jaws with horrific teeth can be up to five inches or 13 centimeters long, would make anyone's chances of survival within their proximity less than optimal. Number one, sperm whale. It would be an understatement to say that sperm whales are the world's biggest predators in the world. They are rightfully the number one pick for this list. Lurking mostly in the depths of the Pacific Ocean, these toothed monsters can reach up to 62 feet in length, 
along with their formidable square heads that hold up to 52 sharp pointy teeth that are ready to chop up their prey. These chopping machines can gobble up a squid in a split second and usually populate temperate waters, but occasionally solitary males may wander into colder territories. They are deep divers that spend an hour or more beneath the surface and then appear poking above the water for about 10 minutes, breathing every 10 seconds. Sperm whales usually move in groups of 15 to 20 and feed mostly on cephalopods. Giant squids everywhere should hide from these guys. Thanks for watching. Which one of these animals' teeth is the most terrifying to you? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.